All right, what's good, y'all? Hey, I done found the best dribbles, man, for 6 5 to 6 10, man. Y'all gonna have to check the animations as y'all making y'all builds. Uh, none of these stats for these dribble moves is, is that high, and I got the controller on the screen, man, so y'all can actually see what buttons I'm pushing and what I'm doing with my controller as I'm doing the seeds. So I'm gonna show y'all the animations. Matter of fact, let me show y'all the drill moves first. I'm gonna show y'all the drill moves, and then I'm gonna show y'all the animations of what it looked like, so y'all can see, like, you know what I'm saying, like what I'm doing. These are these. This is a six seven, by the way. If you've seen how short guards dribble on this game, and you know that the dribbling on this game is super duper slow, but I have found like some fast, the fastest six that I can find on the game, bro. Like, you get a lot of dribble out animations when she's dribbling, like when she's doing like a lot of left to right. You could cancel out of a lot of them, like, you know what I'm saying. Like, I done found some good hesitation that lets you go to the side, and then you can come back with it. And, yeah, really, once you once you lab these, bro, and you get them all right, bro, you probably can get real crazy with these SIGs. These are the best SIGs, man, for 610. Six, six, no, 6'6 six, six to 610. Because I don't think 6'5 can probably get some of these SIGs, man. So if you 6'5 and you just like these SIGs, you know what I'm saying? You already see how I'm dribbling. And I'm not really, like, putting in any combos. Like, I'm really just going left to right, up and down. But it is some combos in here, man, that I've been labbing up with since I've been using these seeds, right? You know, it's a couple of combos that you can dribble out of. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, these are the seeds, man. As y'all can see, they they the fastest seeds on the game. Y'all see how I just, how I just speed boost out of that dribble move? See how I'm about to speed boost right there? See how I'm speed boosting, like, in the same ball hand? Oh, let me go back. See how see how I speed boost like out of my my same my same ball hand or to the opposite ball hand. See how fast I just go to this is without holding um the dribble stick either. Like I'm not holding this stick right here. I'm just literally holding R2 and running to the side. As y'all can see how fast. And I only got no stamina, bro. And he's still running kind of fast. So I'm gonna give y'all all these animations. If y'all wanna uh get get things like this faster, man, make sure y'all come follow the twist, the TikTok or a kick. Look at that. Look, you can you can speed boost out of that right there. Baby, look, you can speed boost out of this. See what I'm saying? Especially if you like plant your feet. And I'm running in the opposite ball hand, as y'all can see. I like the, the double R2. I like the double R2. Like when you tap R2 twice, it makes you run faster. See that? See how fast that made me run, chat right there? And I'm on one, one stamina bar. All right, we're going to go ahead and get all the SIGs, man, real fast. Uh, these are the best SIGs that I have been finding, and I've been laughing for literally, like, bro, three hours, bro, going through trying to find the best SIGs uh, for tall ISO builds, man. So far, these is what I have found, man. I'm going to show y'all my stats, too, real quick. This is my dribbling. If you probably got a higher speed with ball um, or or a higher ball handling, these SIGs might be better for you if you want a 6'6 and higher. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go ahead and show y'all the seeds that I got. Make sure I copy these seeds, and I'm going to show y'all everything that the seed do. So right here, I have on Jalen Green. This is Jalen Green. Make sure you watch the whole thing, man, because I'm going to show y'all how to do every animation. Like, every animation. And y'all can see it with the stick, with the controller. So I'm going to show y'all every animation. So first things first, the Jalen Green. I'm going to show y'all what the Jalen Green is, bro. The Jalen Green... It's what lets you speed boost to the out of the ball hand like that. How I'm just like speed boosting left, left to right. The speed boost left to right like that. You do one move and then you get like a good, good little speed boost right there. That's the Jalen Green right there. So make sure y'all, if y'all want to dribble how I'm dribbling out of the move, make sure y'all put the Jalen Green on, bro. It lets you dribble out the dribble moves kind of fast. See that? Especially when you do like a launchy move and you go back to the opposite hand or a launch in between the legs and you go back to the opposite hand. It lets you go faster. Like, once you go into the opposite hand. I don't know about to the same hand. Sometimes it's fast. But that's the Jalen Green right there. So, that's the first That's the first seed that y'all should put on, man. If you 6'6 six, six and taller, if you got a 6'6 six, six to 6'10. And I'm going to show y'all what you need for it also. So, 
you know what I'm saying? I don't want to waste y'all time. A lot of YouTubers be wasting time. They don't even show y'all what y'all be needing on y'all drum boots. Y'all watch the whole video, and then you try to see if you can get it on your bill because you're not even on the game yet. You trying to go home and play the game. You watch this video, you get home, you can't get none of the sins because you ain't required for it. So I'm going to actually show y'all the requirements too. So Jalen Green, man, the requirements that you want to use, man, you want to make sure you got a 75 speed with ball. You 6'10 with a 75 speed with ball, you can dribble to the side how I was just dribbling to the side on the 6'10. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm thinking about making my next build probably going to be a 6'9. Then I'm going to show y'all the Jimmy Butler, right? Now, with the signature size up, it's a couple of them that's good, right? I really like Zach Levine, but if you don't have an 80, I say you Zach Levine, Jimmy Butler, or I kind of like the Drew Holiday. So, all these seeds is pretty, pretty, like, not that high. And for a fifth one, Zion Williams was pretty good, too, if you don't, if you, don't, if you can't get them three. Zion Williams only a 70. So if you can't get uh, Jimmy Butler or uh, Zach Levine, Zach Levine is pretty good. It's solid. He moved the ball in between his legs pretty fast. Uh, all the rest of them, they kind of give you slow animation. Like I thought Penny Hardaway would have been fast, but I'm going to tell you all why Penny Hardaway is slow if you're watching this video. If you play 24, a lot of people are already familiar with Jimmy Butler dribble style. When he put the ball in his hand, it took him forever to go from here to the other hand. The other ones, it's get right to it. They just go left, right, left, right. Like, it's pretty simple. Like, it ain't, he's not really doing too much with the ball. I'm going to try Drew Holiday one more time, though. But so so far, them is the ones that I like. So, I'm going to show y'all the Jimmy Butler. Now that I have Jimmy Butler, I'm going to show y'all what Jimmy Butler looked like, what you do with Jimmy Butler. And y'all can actually see me do it on the screen with my controller. So, Jimmy Butler is just the left, right. You know what I'm saying? This is the Jimmy Butler. This is the Jimmy Butler. I really don't like that little, that long launch he do. But that's the Jimmy Butler right there, though. He really don't. You know what I'm saying? That's the Jimmy Butler right there. That's Jimmy Butler. So if y'all like that right there, that's the Jimmy Butler, bro. That's the Jimmy Butler. And I'm going to tell y'all why I like the Jimmy Butler. I like how wide he, you know, he doing it and how wide, like why, how wide, like his, like how he, I got his legs kind of like farther distance and he going like left, right. You know what I'm saying? I like that right there about this one right here. But, Drew Holiday was pretty good, too. Right? Uh, now, the regular breakdown. This is important, bro. You use any other seeds, bro. It changes everything with how I was dribbling, bro. Use any other thing. It changed everything. Now, I'm going to give y'all two ones that was pretty good, right, with the, with the breakdowns. James Harden is not good. If you have on regular breakdown combo James Harden, it takes him forever to go from here to here. That's just what slow your dribble moves down, bro. So, the best ones... Like, just watch the animation in the beginning. Like, that little walk-up, it's going to take you forever to activate that. Paul George activates super-duper fast. Like, he, by the time he dribbled, the ball already going between his legs as soon as the animation starts in pro. Pro is the fastest one out of all of them. Pro is super-duper fast, but Paul George is smooth with the animation the way it brings you back. When I show y'all the combos, y'all going to see what I'm saying. So, now I'm going to show y'all what the regular breakdown combo Paul George looked like when you do it, bro. This is what Paul George looked like. This is the regular... What you want to do is to do this, bro. You want to hold R2 in. No, no, no. Don't hold R2. That's for the aggressive. Just flick up. That's the Paul George. He goes straight into the animation. So what I'm saying? He goes straight into the animation. And then you can dribble out of that, too. You can dribble out of that. So once you go up, that's the Paul George. That's the Paul George right there. So let me show y'all one more time before I get off. This is the Paul George animation. So just remember that. That's the Paul George animation right there, bro. You want to make sure you got that Paul George on, bro, for the 6'6". For 6'6 the six, six. Six, six and higher, bro. Paul George is tough. Now, the aggressive breakdown, right? So far, it's two. I'm not going to lie. You use Paul George, bro, you're going to get constant ankle breakers. I'm not going to lie, bro. Paul George aggressive breakdown gives you so many uh, ankle breakers. But it do take too long for, for it to to um to activate but you will get a lot of a lot of uh, ankle breakers so at the moment i'm using jason tatum aggressive breakdown because it's the fastest so i'm giving you one that's the fastest one that give you ankle breakers and one that's the smoothest so ain't the rest of them none of them is really smooth the fastest ones really is you know jason tatum is the fastest one and paul george give you the most ankle breakers you know what i'm saying it gets you a lot of ankle breakers like a lot of stuns and a lot of ankle breakers so by the time the stun is over with you already going to be in the animation. So now I'm going to show y'all the Paul George, right? What you want to do? You want to hold your, your R2, tap up, 
and you want to go like that. That's it right there. I'm gonna show you the whole animation though, because I did cancel it. That's it right there. That's the that's the um Jason Tatum aggressive breakdown. That's super duper fast compared to every other drill move. You look how fast he boom, look how fast that is right there. Boom. It's a super, super snatchy move, bro. Like, and it's kind of like a misdirection. Like you would think I was going that way, boom, and he go the opposite way. Like he put the ball in between his legs, boom, and go the opposite way. So, and that's equivalent to this and keep running. But instead, he snatched the ball back. So I'm saying you see the difference? It's equivalent to this and wait, wait, in between the legs and then keep running. That's what that's equivalent to. It's equivalent to in between the legs and keep running. That's what it's equivalent to. But he go in between the legs and yank the other way. So it's a Yankee move right there. That's a Yankee move. That's a Yankee move, man. I'm not gonna lie. So the next sig is let's go to the next one. The next one is Jimmy Butler, right? I'm gonna give y'all the fastest one. And I'm going to give y'all the smoothest one, right? Jimmy Butler, right? His in the front, his in the front escape is fast and his in between is slow, right? So it's really like pick your poison, right? KD is in between, right? It's the opposite. Like his in the front is slow, but his in between the legs escape is fast. All the rest of them, bro, it, they not really that good, bro. Like, so if you're using any one of these, I advise you not to use them. Pro is pretty cool, but it's still not fast enough when it comes to certain animation. So Jimmy Butler and Kevin Durant is the fastest too. And I'm very familiar with these because I use these on 24. So I'm gonna show y'all his in-between. That is his in-between. It's kind of slower. Wait, that's the that's the inner front. That's in between. If y'all can see my sids, when I say in between, I'm going straight to the left and he's going in between. Go diagonally up, go in the front. So I'm saying so that is his animation. So when you mix that with the whole R2 up and then you go the opposite way, let me show y'all real quick. Once you mix that with the, the Jason Tatum, wait, that's the Hezzy, hold on. Mix his escape, this is escape with the Jason Tatum, that right there, it's pretty It's pretty good. Let me shoot real quick so I get my bars back. And if y'all want this 6-7 build, I just made this 6-7 build, leave a like, man, so I can see all this build. So you mix the the Jimmy Butler escape, hold on, Mr. Jimmy Butler escape, hold on. Boom, with that. You see what I'm saying? So that's the that's the Jason Tatum R2 up with that. Boom, with the Jimmy Butler. It's a very good. That's this is actually a combo. This is a combo right here, bro. It's a combo. That that'll really get people because he go in that direction and you yank it back the other way. See what I'm saying? That's a good that's a good combo right there, bro. That's a good combo. Not gonna lie, that's a good combo right there. Next thing you want to do is make sure you got on and all these together, all these together make all your animations really good, bro. Um, right now I'm using, I'm using um, Jason Tatum combo moves, bro. I'm gonna show y'all how to do these combo moves. Uh, but I, I like James Harden a little bit. I tried KD. I think all the rest of them is kind of slow. Devin Booker, he is as fast, but sometimes he give you a slow animation. So you can try Pro, or you can try Jason Tatum. But I'm going to try Zach Levine, too, because I don't know. I try Zach Levine, but I don't know. It's like some of it be like, I don't know. I'm going to have to analyze. But I like James Harden, too, though. But so far, let me let me pick one. Let me pick one for the video, bro, because I got to be able I gotta be able to do one. I think one of these was slow. I don't know if it was James Harden. I think James Harden was slow, y'all. But Pro is pretty fast. Now, Pro might actually make these six tough because Pro is low-key the fastest one. Low-key. Let me try to do pro. It's gonna be hard to do these with this game. It's gonna be hard to do it. But you can tell when you're doing it though. Oh, I know how to do it. I know how to do it. Man, I can't even go in between the legs. Bro. That was pretty fast though. Wait, I think I got a four or two. It's hard for me to do this move, chat. I'm not going to lie. But when you do it, you will see it, though. But it's that's why I kind of like the other one better because it's, it's kind of easier to get that one. Yeah, it's kind of hard to get that, bro. It's kind of hard to get that. Let's try another one. Let's try another one, chat. Let's try another one. Let's try a second one, bro. 
It's but Pro Two is really fast. If you can get, if you know how to do Pro Two, I knew how to do it on Twenty Four. But the dribbling on this game is kind of slow, so it's kind of hard to catch it. That right there. But it's gonna stop you though, so you can instantly go into another move. But it's like I can't get that animation to work. So I know I can get Zach Levine to work. I know I can get Zach Levine to work, right? It's literally not clicking on, bro. Like, the animations in this game are so slow. Like, it's making me hot back. Yeah. There it go, right there. That's the Zach Levine right there, y'all. What I just did. Like, bro. Gotta go. There it go. That's the Zach Levine right there, y'all. That's the Zach Levine. That's a Zach Levine right there, too. That's a Zach Levine. Oh, I think it's... Damn, bro, it's so hard to... That's, that was a Zach Levine, y'all. It's kind of hard to do Zach Levine, bro. They, the game dribbling is so slow. But... Zach Levine is pretty good, bro. Like, you, when you in the game, bro, and you're just dribbling, you're going to catch it, bro. You're going to see it. But Zach Levine is, is pretty good, and Pro is pretty good, y'all. Let's go to the next animation. Uh, crossover Pro. I use Crossover Pro. Um, I was kind of, like, confused about these animations because it's not how it used to be. Let me look at the crossovers in the store real quick. Because they're not how they used to be, right? The one that everybody used to use, I forgot which one it was, bro, used to be able to go to the paint and, like, switch the ball to the opposite hand, bro. People used to do it all the time, bro. If you play 24, you know what I'm talking about, bro. So, basically, if you know what I'm talking about, I'm about to show you how to cross over. Basically, when you're running up to the paint, bro, and you do out of, out, like that, when you go to the opposite ball hand, y'all can see. I don't know why I be trying to say what I'm doing when y'all can see it, bro. So when you run into the rim and you go this way, that's what that does. That's the crossover. That's the crossover right there, y'all. It's super fast though. So if you is running down the court, you can you can for sure get to the paint with that. When you run it with a pro. It's super duper fast, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of fast. It's the fastest one I've seen. It's better if you do it all the way at the three-point line. Let me try Paul George. I tried Paul George one time. It's kind of slow, but it's super duper smooth. If you trying to be, if you trying to be shifty, See, yeah, that one is it's super duper slow though. I think Pro is the best one. I think this one is slow because I did have this on. Not that I remember, but you could get shifty with it. I'm gonna tell you what I'm saying when I mean shifty. You're not gonna be able to run to the paint and score with it. Bro. Hold on. See what I'm saying? That little move right there. It's shifty because then when you run it and you go like that, you can actually mix it up with a Paul. What's my Paul George animation? Yeah, okay, up. So say if you run it, you do Paul George. Wait, you run up, do Paul George, and you hit him with the... Oh, it gave me a hesitation out of that. I'm trying to do Paul George, both of my Paul George animations. It ain't going to let me. That's fast, though, chat. I got a lot of chat. That's fast, bro. Well, we give you a little speed boost, too. Y'all see that? It's low-key kind of fast, y'all. Wait, do y'all think it's better than pro? Comment down below. Let me know. I don't know if it's better than pro. Pro... It's kind of like launchy, but that would give you a fast speed boost, though. A little bit. Like, you gain, you get a little bit of speed from that, though. You get a little bit of speed from it, though. I think Pro is better, though. So now, let's go to the next animation, man. We got the uh, Paul George behind the back. That's what I use right now. Uh, and I use normal. If you know it's normal let me show y'all normal right let me show y'all normal first normal is kind of like jamal murray right 
normal is kind of like Jamal Murray. If I could do it, it'd be hard to do normal dribble moves. I don't know why. See, that's like that's it right there, chat. That's it right there. Only how you can activate it though if you do another move in front of it. So you would have to do like an escape and then the Jamal Murray behind the back. It's kind of like Jamal Murray, bro. It's kind of like Jamal Murray. But you know, it's kind of slower um than how it used to be i don't think it's it's not jamal murray i remember what it was because i used to use it on 20 on 24 on my 16 because he didn't get jamal murray it's not like that but it's kind of they got the same form as jamal murray so normal behind the back is like basically kind of like jamal murray but i like to use paul george right and i'm gonna tell y'all why paul george is more launchy like i think you gotta have when you stand still you gotta have some type of launchy moves bro like you got, I like that move right there because it's a little bit launchy to the side. Like it's launchy, and you can shoot out of it, and it's pretty fast too. Yep, it's pretty fast too. But Jamal Murray looks pretty dope though. The Jamal Murray looking one is kind of dope. But so far, I like that one right there, y'all. I'm not gonna lie, I like that one right there. That's the one that's good, bro. <laughs> now the spins. I went through all the spins, y'all. I already knew what animation I liked it. Steve Nash is kind of the spin from 2K20. Where you can spin fast to the side, and then you can also spin back. Even though the spin back is not, I don't think it's in the game. Maybe if you can activate a momentum, you probably could. But I don't think the spin back is in the game. But you see how fast it lets you spin? It do let you spin pretty fast, y'all. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it, let, it lets you spin faster than all the other ones, I'll tell you that. Yeah, so that's the that's the Steve Nash spin, y'all. It's, it's pretty fast, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Then the next animation, bro, is my favorite animation in the game so far. This right here, the Tyrese Hillibert. Tyrese Hillibert, Hallibert, whatever his name is, bro. You need a 79. Y'all can see the, uh, the, uh, the the requirements at the bottom. You just 79 ball handle, handling for this. This is my favorite animation in the game that I'm really going to be spamming a lot, bro. <clears throat> so basically what you want to do is, it's basically a hesitation. So you want to push the ball hand to the same side that you own with R2. Or just double tap to the, like double tap to the, oh yeah, you got a whole R2. So hold, tar, oh, hold R2 and then double tap to the same side. He give you that little gather, right? So what you can do, I'm going to tell y'all the combo out of this gather. Let me shoot the ball real fast so I can show, show y'all the combo that you can do. You can do a lot of combos out of, out of this gather. So you want to go that, and then you can pull it back. So you can go boom and pull it back. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of pullback animation. So like when you hold your R2, boom, and you probably can pull back out of that. So you mix the Tyrese with that right there. Oh, no, that makes you go up. That makes you go up. That makes you go up. Oh, that's good too, though. That go up move right there is pretty good because what if you need to get past somebody? If you go boom and then hold R2 and go up. So you can find a good crossover move that, that lets you do that. You could do that right there. Boom and then cross up. You know what I'm saying? Or you could probably go boom or you can go boom. Wait. Yeah, you know. Oh, so only up give you that crossover. You go boom and then you go up that's what give you the crossover right there boom and then up boom and then up it give you the crossover move. oh that was that was it right there that was the um the animation that i was trying to do so after this after this video man i'm probably gonna try to find another crossover to do with that uh animation but pro is good though now we got the step back the best two step backs in the game is luca well, three. Zach Levine is pretty good, too, though. Zach Levine. A lot of people are using Zach Levine, but I'm using James Hart. Uh, let me try Zach Levine with these six. I haven't tried Zach Levine, but I did use Zach Levine on my 16. But it looked like I can't even hop back with Zach Levine. Bro. That's the Zach Levine right there, y'all. That's the Zach Levine. It is pretty fast, though, y'all. I'm not going to lie. It is pretty fast, though, chat. Zach Levine is pretty fast. 
Zach Levine is pretty fast, bro. And I think it lets you dribble out that too. I think it lets you dribble out that animation too. So that's that's pretty good. So Zach, these are them are all the six, man. That y'all should try on, man, for y'all bills, man. If y'all six six through six ten, those are all the six, bro. Let me show you the requirements one more time. You gotta have a seventy five speed with ball. You know, at least this this right here is seventy ball handling for uh, Jimmy Butler. Uh, Paul George seventy five. So the minimum is eighty. If you got an eighty, I think you can get everything that you need, bro, with an eighty. With an 80, you can get everything. You get the Zach Levine. You can get everything with an 80, bro. You get everything with an 80, bro. Got an 80, you get everything. Really, 75. 75 give you majority of all the moves that you need, bro. Well, 80, 80, because then this move right here is 80. But you probably can go also Scotty Pimpin too. Scotty Pimpin give you a little, a little hesitate to the side too. You know what I'm saying? But 80 is really all you need for real, bro. 80 will give you everything you need. 80 will give you everything you need, bro. So, appreciate y'all, man, if y'all stayed to the end. Shout out to everybody, man. Make sure I leave a like, subscribe, follow, all that. These are the best animations that I have found for tall ISO builds, bro.